Now we're going to look at a problem dealing with expected value. An architect is considering bidding for the design of a new theater. The cost of drawing plans and submitting a model is $15,000. The probability of being awarded the bid is two-tenths, and anticipated profits are $80,000, resulting in a possible gain of this amount minus the $15,000 cost for plans and models. What is the expected value if the architect decides to bid for the design? Describe what this value means. We're going to start off by finding the expected value, and we'll do it as follows. We're going to take the probability of getting the bid We'll multiply that probability times the value associated with getting the bid. We're going to add that to the probability of not getting the bid. Multiplied times the value associated with not getting the bid. Now the probability of getting the bid is given to us as two-tenths. The value associated with getting the bid would be profits of $80,000 minus the cost of $15,000, which would be $65,000. The probability of not getting the bid is going to be 1 minus the probability of getting the bid. That is, we had 2 tenths for getting the bid, so we'll have 8 tenths probability of not getting the bid, times the value associated with not getting the bid. That would be considered a loss of the cost for us of $15,000. So in order to get our expected value, we combine these values, notice that the loss needed to be negative, and we end up with a value of 1,000. Now to describe what this means, we're simply going to think about the fact that our expected value is a positive value, and so if it had been zero, that would be considered fair or fair game, or in other words, you have just as much chance of winning as losing in some respects, and it would be, might, work, might be worth the cost. But the fact that it's positive pretty much tells us that we probably want to go ahead and advise the architect to consider bidding for the design.